Hey, coins collectors, welcome to my channel Coins Heritage. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and click on bell icon for more informative videos about coins. Today, we're taking a closer look at the 1971 D. Lincoln sent a seemingly common coin that holds more value than you might think. We'll explore its design, delve into the historical context of its production, and discuss its value in the numismatic market today. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned collector, this video will give you everything you need to know about this particular penny. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the design and specifications of the 1971 D. Lincoln cent. The obverse of the coin features the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. This design has been in use since 1909, making it one of the longest-running coin designs in U.S. history. On the obverse, you'll see Liberty inscribed to the left of Lincoln's profile, and the year 1971 to the right. Above Lincoln's head, the motto In God We Trust is prominently displayed. Below the date, you'll notice the small D mint mark, indicating that this coin was struck at the Denver Mint. The reverse of the coin, designed by Frank Gasparro, features the Lincoln Memorial, which replaced the earlier Wheat Ears design in 1959. Above the Lincoln Memorial are the words United States of America, and below, the denomination once sent the phrase E Pluribus Unum is inscribed above the memorial, translating to out of many, one, symbolizing the unity of the states. As for its composition, the 1971 D. Lincoln cent is made of 95% copper and 5% zinc, weighing in at 3.11 grams. This composition was standard for U.S. pennies from 1909 until 1982 when the rising cost of copper led to a switch to a predominantly zinc composition with a thin copper coating. Now, let's place the 1971 D. Lincoln cent in its historical context. The early 1970s were a time of significant change in the United States. The country was dealing with the ongoing Vietnam War, social movements, and economic shifts. These factors influenced the daily lives of Americans, including the coins they used in everyday transactions. The Denver Mint produced over 2.9 billion Lincoln cents in 1971, making it a high mintage year. Despite this large production number, the 1971 D. Lincoln cent remains popular among collectors due to its place in history and the potential for discovering high-grade specimens. The U.S. Mint was also focused on ensuring an adequate supply of coins for circulation during this period, as coin shortages had been an issue in previous years. The high production numbers reflect the Mint's efforts to meet the demand for small change in the growing U.S. economy. One of the most exciting aspects of coin collecting is discovering varieties and errors, and the 1971 D. Lincoln cent has its share of interesting features. One variety that collectors often seek out is the double die obverse DDO. While not as prominent as in some other years, 1971 does have some reported instances of this error. A double die occurs when the coin's design is struck more than once by the die, leading to a slightly offset image that appears doubled. This can be seen most clearly in the inscriptions on the obverse, such as Liberty or In God We Trust. Additionally, you might come across coins with minor mint errors, such as off-center strikes, where the coin's design is misaligned with the planchette, or die cracks, where the die used to strike the coin has a crack that leaves a raised line on the coin's surface. These errors, while sometimes subtle, can add to the uniqueness and value of the coin. Another interesting aspect to look out for is the floating roof variety. This occurs when the lines that connect the roof of the Lincoln Memorial to the building on the reverse side are faint or missing entirely, making it appear as if the roof is floating. This variety is particularly sought after by collectors. Let's talk about the collectability and market value of the 1971 D. Lincoln cent. Given the high mintage numbers, 
most 1971 D pennies found in circulation are worth only their face value. However, as with many coins, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. Coins in uncirculated or mint state MS condition, especially those graded MS 65 or higher by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC, can be worth more. In MS 65 condition, a 1971 D Lincoln cent might fetch around 10 to 20, depending on the market. If you happen to find a coin in MS 67 or higher, the value could be significantly higher, sometimes reaching over 100. Proof coins, especially those with deep cameo contrast, are also highly collectible. Although the 1971 D Lincoln cent was not produced as a proof coin at the Denver Mint, it's important to differentiate regular circulation strikes from proofs made in other mints like San Francisco. Error coins, such as those with a double die obverse or off-center strikes, can be worth considerably more, depending on the rarity and severity of the error. For example, a well-defined double die could be worth hundreds of dollars, depending on the demand and condition. For those looking to add a 1971 D Lincoln cent to their collection, here are a few tips. One condition is key, as with most coins, the condition of your 1971 D Lincoln cent is the most important factor in determining its value. Look for coins with minimal wear, sharp details, and a strong, original color. 2. Search for varieties and errors. Always examine your coins closely for any unusual features, such as doubling on the obverse or the floating roof variety on the reverse. These can increase the value of your coin significantly. 3. Proper storage. To maintain the value of your copper coins, store them in a cool, dry place, preferably in airtight holders or albums to prevent oxidation. 4. Stay informed. The coin market can fluctuate, so it's essential to stay updated on the latest trends and values. Joining a coin club, attending coin shows, or participating in online forums can help you stay connected with the numismatic community. In conclusion, while the 1971 D Lincoln cent may not be the rarest or most valuable coin out there, it still holds a special place in American numismatics. Whether you're collecting for historical interest, potential value, or just for fun, this penny is a worthy addition to any collection. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on coin collecting. And as always, happy hunting.